Secrets, I'm back and today I am finally going to be checking out the last three Shopkins Little Secrets from the Party Pop-Up series. Woo! If you haven't seen any of the other Party Pop-Ups or the other Little Secrets playsets that I've reviewed, I strongly suggest you do it because they are super cute and you'll be able to find the links to those videos in the descriptions below. True story before we start, I have been going back and forth to Toys R Us for months now trying to get my hands on these, thinking that they would have them first, but every single time I was there, still nothing. And then I randomly found them at Walmart and I was like, yes! The final three. So I picked them all up and uh, here we are. They were $15 each. They are for children over five and definitely not for children under three because they contain small parts. In fact, they are entirely made up of small parts. And after that, all the info is individual. So I'm gonna start with this one because it's the one I was most excited for and uh, it's been staring at me for like days. Here is our first Party Pop-Ups playset. That was a lot of peas. We're gonna get one teeny mini shoppy plus one tiny mini shopkin. And of course we'll get our lock and invitation, which will give us our combination. That sounded like super phony and fake and rhymey. And then up here we can see all six of the Party Pop-Up playsets that are in this series. I did open these three already, which is in one of those previous videos should you choose to watch it and today we're gonna get the final three it says will you get a special finish secret lock well I did last time and if you want to know which one it is you'll have to watch but for now we just open eh, eh. Ugh, what let's go let's go what that was very difficult oh she's so cute she looks like she's getting married it's a garden party maybe it's a garden wedding party oh I dropped my invitation gotta get it ow ow ow, ow. I'm stuck I'm stuck <gasps> my hair is stuck in the camera there we go. Ow. Well, that was new. I have unstuck my hair, I've got my checklist, and I have my invitation. I have learned not to look at this checklist if you actually want to be surprised though, because otherwise you'll find out what Shopkin you're gonna get. So let's just skip it. I mean, technically it's on the package anyways, but I don't pay attention. So you are invited from the teeny mini Shoppies and Shopkins. Find these Shopkins in your invitation to open your secret lock. Here's the outside of the lock. It's all white with a magenta metallic picture of our Shoppy doll. There's pretty little filigree with a heart lock in the center down ah! with a little heart shaped lock in the center and then we have a pearly pink latch and for those of you who don't know this they do show what the combination is on the back so that if you ever lose this or you don't remember you'll always have your code and here we go <gasps> oh it's so pastel that's really pretty our choppy doll and our mini shopkin we'll look at that after and we'll check out the place at first oh my gosh that is so cute the top portion of the lock is a nice pastel green with green leaves and a pink branch with a nice pink banner hanging down for hearts with a white arrow but if you flip it on this side it's a swing I'm just calling it a banner because that's what it looks like over here and then there's a lot of purple we'll start with the bottom there's some stone steps and a ledge and a spot for our doll to stand and then off to the side here we've got a two-tiered cake with white frosting and a pink heart on top but if we turn it there's a hidden spot in the back to hide a shopkin the light green portion of the plastic backing has molded tree trunks leaves grass hearts streamers and I think little lanterns at least that's what they look like to me and then in the center we have a nice little sticker with some shrubs and foliage some clouds and floating lantern balloons down on the bottom the pastel color aesthetic continues it would be easier if this wasn't in the way. On this side here we have a light purple fountain. It is three tiered and it has water coming right down from the top all the way to the bottom. On one side of the fountain we have a little cupid statue. He's got his bow and arrow there. And then on this side we have a heart shaped little quilted love seat. Get it? Because it's a heart. We've got a green shrub archway shaped like a heart. We also have a small white table with two pink cups on it. And then in the center there is a rotating disc in light blue so it looks like water with a light pink swan on it wearing a pink crown. And I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to resemble. It's sort of looking like a cake, but whatever it is, it's what we'll hold on to to turn the swamp through the water. And it also opens so that we can hide a Shopkin inside. That's it. Ah, my finger. We'll put that to the side and check out our characters. Let's start with our Shoppy first. Here is our doll. She is super cute, super teeny, and super light colored. Her name is Bridie, so I guess I was right. I think it would have been really cool if they had at least given us another character in this one though. So she had someone to marry, because that would make a lot more sense, but whatever. She's got light pink hair pulled back into a bun, and she's wearing a veil that's topped with a white bow and a blue macaron just in the center. And her face is winking at us like she's got a 
secret, and to be honest, I think I know what it is. She lost her spouse. But don't worry, friends, she does have one guest at this Lonely Hearts garden party. Wait a minute. It's a Lonely Hearts garden party. She's lonely. She has no spouse. Aw, now I feel bad for making fun of her. <laughs> well, I didn't really make fun of her, but you know what I mean. Our mini Shopkins name is Cutie Crush Cookie. That's a lot of C's. It's a heart-shaped cookie with an ombre color effect of light pink to light purple. It's got three little hearts up in the top corner and an arrow being shot through its poor body. And maybe that's why it looks so sad. Poor little cookie. Now that we're done checking out the characters, we can check out the checklist. Here's our lovely hearts garden party. Lovely? What? I thought it was lonely hearts. Where did I get that? I made up like this whole situation about how they must have been sad for no reason. That's my imagination for you. Anyways, here were our characters. Bridie and Cutie Crush Cookie. Excellent stuff. Great, great, great. And apparently there was a chance for regular or special. And since nothing seemed overly special about my playset other than how ow, <laughs> other than how cute it was, I'm going to assume that we have a regular. And now all that's left to do is find some spots to put our characters. I really want to try out this little swing though. Ah! I think it's for the Shopkin. I'm going to put it there. Wee! And let's put Bridie up. No! Cutie crush cookie! Come on, get back in there. Okay. And then we put Bridie up on the ledge. She's just gonna give her friend a push with her face. Wee! Oh, ow! Where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. Okay, try that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jen's got this. Give your friend a push. Go, cutie crush cookie! Go! Wee! Maybe that's not such a great spot for it. You know what? We'll just put it in there. There you go. No, no, stop. Oh wait, before I switch to the next playset, I also want to try the swan. I don't know about you guys, but I always stand up on swan's back. Do, do, do. <laughs> round and around and around she goes. That is Jen's standard spinning song. Do. Our girl is ghostly pale. She's either super tired or in serious need of a day at the beach. But either way, we're gonna set her to the side and move on to our second playset, which is going to be Jeannie's Delish Wish Cafe. All the same stuff, our invitation, the back is the same, blah, blah, blah. Here it is. Oh, I dropped the invitation. I need to know the combination. I guess I could use the back, but that's no fun. Oh, I almost fell again. Got it. Dear Jen, you are invited to the Delish Wish Cafe. What? Shopping bag, ice cream cone, bow tie. I can remember that for like literally a second. Combination is in, but before we open it, we'll check out the lock, which is a nice dark purple with the magenta metallic image of our shoppy doll. Same filigree, same heart-shaped lock, and this time we have a brighter pink pearly latch. And now we can open it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so shiny. Is it supposed to be shiny? <gasps> where's the, where's the, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Wait, 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 wait. I think the regular one is just like an orangey color to look like gold. And this is actual gold. <gasps> I'm a millionaire. But for real, I think this is actually one of the special finishes because it's really pearly and really shiny. I need to focus. Where's my, where's my dolls? Okay, let me take that out. Sorry, I'm really excited because it's really pretty and it's not glittery. Focus. We'll check out the playset and then get a little more excited. It is all kinds of beautiful, okay? The top of the playset is really pretty. There's a lot of pearly colors going on. We've got purple drapes and beading, light pink drapes and beading, a bright pink table, and some gray tassels and ornaments hanging. On the back wall, there is a sticker to help set the scene. We've got some mystical genie smoke, a two-tier golden cake stand with a genie lamp on top, four purple cups, and some gold beads and and red rubies hanging from the ceiling. And lastly, we have this golden genie lamp. There's a pearly pink and blue stopper in the top. And what's in here? Doo, doo, doo. It looks like the sticker is continued from the outside, so there's more mystical genie smoke, more hanging beads, another teacup, some diamonds, necklaces, and I think that might be a perfume bottle. Then we've got some more pearly bits, so there's hanging drapes, little tassels, another spot for our doll to stand. And I'm not exactly sure what this is. It kind of resembles a checkout machine, but also not at all. So whatever that is, is what it is. And let's, I think that's it. Oh no, look, this is very reflective, so it's hard to see. I almost missed it. There is a little golden table with a ruffled skirt here and two teacups. Ha ha ha. All right, I think I'm sort of confident that we found everything. I didn't really describe the outside of the bottle, but it is really pretty. There's diamonds, filigree, upside down triangles, right side up triangles, little dots, little arches, really cute stuff. The bottom of the playset is just as fancy as the top. It's also very crowded, so it's a little hard to show off. I'm really sorry, I'm gonna do my best. Along the side here, we have a pink rail and it's attached to a magic carpet. A quick zhuzh of the carpet says that I can't get it to go up and down and that's probably because there's two gold chairs blocking the way. The carpet itself is pink, silver, and purple, nice and pearly. And I'm gonna flip it out to see if that helps at all. And it does. Now we can move it up and down. And now that I flipped it over, I can also see that there's a little chair
chair on the back here. Unfortunately, it's not fitted though, so any Shopkin or doll that we put there, we will have to hold on to it to make it go up and down. As neat as this is, I wish we would have been able to use it this way, like you typically would a magic carpet, but still very cool. Now that we've moved the carpet, we can see the chairs that were blocking it. They are big, tacky, and gold. And there's also a gold table in the center with two little cups on it. If you're having a hard time seeing that, don't worry, you are not the only one, because in person, it's just as difficult. <laughs> Underneath the chairs, there's a light pink pearly floor with moons and stars, some pearly tables in pink with random stuff on it, another table with teacups on it in pearly purple, and then some mystical silver genie fog. <sighs> there's a pretty sticker on the floor with some plush pillows, and then lastly, the main attraction, which is of course a big golden magic lamp. There's lots of detail on it, but there's not even a chance that I can show that off to you. Take my word for it, it's really pretty. I'm gonna flip it open. <sighs> Oh, there's just pillows inside. Can you see those? I don't know. It's so hard because it's so shiny. There's also like a quilted pattern to the floor. I'm kind of surprised that there's not a little section to hide a Shopkin. Most of the play sets have one on the bottom level, but not this one. Let's set that off to the side and find ourselves a genie for our lamp. And now I found her. What's her name? If it's not genie, that's a missed opportunity. Her name is Jen. Just kidding. Oh, it is, what? Apparently it's Gemma Stone. Not gonna lie, I remember her doll looking so much more different than this. Anyways, here is Gemma Stone. Oh, 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 no. She's got silvery light blue hair in a half up, half down style with a purple diamond in the front, which matches her outfit. It's all purple with light blue on her hips and shoes. I think she even has a little necklace on. Now for our Shopkin. It's super tiny, very pink, very shiny, and silver. And a quick look at the checklist tells me I have Telia Lamp because it definitely doesn't look like Lil Lamp Milkshake. And obviously it's a different color because of course we got the special finish. I'm gonna take Gemma Stone and put her in the lamp. No, 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 Gemma, stay. Perfect. Now quickly try out the carpet too because I know for a fact she's not gonna sit on it, which is a little frustrating because it's such a great idea and it's really cute. It's just not executed well because it's not fitted. I'm not sure if that was an oversight or what, but it's a missed opportunity, that's for sure. I'm gonna put them back in the place it and move on. Now we move on to our last playset, which is Fab Fairy Fashions. It's so fab. This time we have a light purple square lock with a pink pearly handle. Still the same filigree, the same heart shaped lock, and of course a magenta metallic image of the doll in the center. Let's get our invitation to find our combination. Whee! Whee! <laughs> the last one. There is a lot of pink happening here in various shades and a lot of stuff stuck on the walls and on the ground and all over the place is it just, it's really, really busy. So I'll point out what I can. We've got some pink steps, some purple steps. We got OJ, purple stuff, send it yeah. Going up a purple vine, which leads to a pink leaf. There's also a rotating white daisy platform with a spot to stand right inside the flower and at the base of the vine. We've got some pink fairy dress forms, one light, two dark, and some bright green leaves and vines. We also have a light purple door with a butterfly stained glass window and when we open it there's another dress form inside this one is pink and white there's also a sticker on the back wall that shows us a mirror and a hanging white gown and above this closet there's some pink drawers and shelves with a purple lamp and boxes on it the sticker on the back wall is split in two so the bottom is light pink with purple butterflies and the top is teal and white stripes with some toys on a shelf here's the bottom it is just as busy as the top but a little more spaced out I'm doing my best here so we have this little close off section. It's got a diamond shaped floor. There's a pair of shoes down there, a spot for our doll to stand, a circular pink armchair, and then a random table with folded up clothing on it. So I'm thinking it must be a change room where you get to sit down in a fancy chair. There's a little butterfly door that opens and closes so they can have a little privacy. Outside the door we have two green flowers, a display shelf with five pairs of shoes, a corner cash register area, some folded clothes, folded clothes on a purple shelf, a little set of pink stairs, the bottom step being made out of green leaves. And then over here we have a piece that flips up to reveal a mirror. It is white with a pink shell on top. And then there's a moving little pedestal in the shape of a flower. So our doll will stand there and we can move her to and from the mirror. And next to that we have a little section where we can flip open and hide a Shopkin. Just like I thought we would have for the genie. The lid of it is light purple and pink. And the last thing is just the sticker on the floor. It is striped light pink with pink butterflies and white polka dots and then bright pink and then a few pairs of random shoes. And finally, we're done looking at that one. And now for our characters. 
Here's our shoppy. Her name is Pommy, and I'm not gonna lie, she's not that cute. Her face is defective. I'm sure you can see it without me pointing it out, but there's scratches and gouges in her cheeks on the bottom, and her face paint is going into her hair color, which is not painted very thick, so you can actually see through it to the purple underneath, which is the same color as her wings. But there's nothing I could do about that. So this is Pommy. She's got a big poofy pink skirt, white tights, bright green shoes, a green shirt to match those shoes, light pink hair with a big pink bow, and purple wings. And then her Shopkin pal is Flitter Purse. There was a special and regular finish, and I don't think anything was special about ours, so I'm gonna say we have a regular. Now we need to add them to the playset. There we go. Try out her mirror. Oh my gosh! There's a hole in my face! Ah! And then I'm gonna drop Flitter over here into this chair, because I don't know why. I just want to. Ta-da! Okay guys, that's it for me. I've opened all the play sets and overall my favorite one today was the special Delish Wish Cafe. Not just because it was special, but because it was super pretty, okay? And I'm surprised to say that the one I was most excited for turned out to be the one that I kind of liked the least. I know, very shocking. The colors were aesthetically pleasing and everything. It's super cute. It's just, in the end, it looked too washed out altogether, if that makes sense. And uh, there's no more, sadly. If you know somebody who loves Shopkins Little Secrets, miniature toys or my videos in general then please share this one with them and if you enjoyed it yourself then please make sure you remember to comment like and subscribe you can let me know down below what you liked what you didn't like or which one is your favorite set from today as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye